Mm -hmm. Nine o'clock, we'll call the meeting in order. Please join me in the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, welcome to the special meeting of the Pipeson County Commissioners. Uh, we're here to meet, I believe, solely on the budget today. So just to go over some numbers and <coughs> talk some things over and try to get this thing ready for Tuesday. So. Right. Mr. Chairman, uh, what you have in front of you, you've got two spreadsheets. Uh, one has got some scratchings on it that I made some adjustments on last week. And then you have a brand new and clean copy. And where we were at prior to this meeting, we were at 5.23% levy increase. After some uh, changes, additions, reductions, uh, we're down at 4, we're at 4.93 now. So take a look at my spreadsheet that has my, my uh, handwritten <coughs> notes on there. Most of these are adjustments to our health insurance where the department's budgeted it and I went back in on every one of them and then double checked everything and made sure that it was correct to the amounts that we put in there for 775 for singles and 1112 for family <coughs> every one that was there so most of those are insurance adjustments that in most cases brought it down uh, there was one duplication in the sheriff's department that had uh, two family coverages so that reduced that a little bit further so what I did is uh, the total overall, I reduced the levy by $21,048 due to those changes on it. A couple other changes I made, I communicated with Auditor Treasurer Reich and uh, asked him if we would be in line for investment return income, about $180,000. We're at $170,000 is what I budgeted for. He said, you'd be fine at one hundred and eighty, dollars And he did state that if, if needed, uh, we could go to 190 also. We could gather another uh, $10,000 out of investment income he figured for 2020. So we could do that. But right now it's sitting at 180,000. So I increased that by $10,000. Um, I did put the coroner costs in here. Um, those were on not budgeted expenses. There's $12,500 in coroner expenses in that budget to account for the coroner call outs and also preparation of cremation certificates in there for 2020. So the original budget <coughs> was $5,000, now it's 17.5, so it was a 12.5 increase on that. And what I did for the insurance is I did a placeholder amount as we went into the proposed levy. I just put in $16,000 of expense into the non-departmental account to cover that until I could get it figured out once we had everything set and everything was set by the board. So the, where I'm at right now is 4.9% uh, levy increase. That would be out of general revenue, $4,890,412. Program aid remains the same at 578,878. So you see our levy after program aid is 4315,534. Road and bridge remained the same. Uh, family services remained the same and a referendum levy which we have again two more years to pay on is 221068 which in 20 should be very similar to this year so our total levy would be 7265897 and that would be a 4.93 percent increase over last year so just really wanted to bring the board together and that what r prompted this initially was I was anticipating we were going to receive our $175,000 uh, investment into the CPT, uh, county pr counties providing technology back. Uh, apparently that wasn't the case and we will be getting $50,000 back of our initial 175 we put in. And that check did come yesterday, Tyler reported. So that's our, that showed up. So I was gonna originally use the 175 for levy reduction, but since that's not reality, uh, we'll just pay the money back that we borrowed out of reserves for the 50000 put it right back into that. And then recommendation, just leave it like we have today. Mm -hmm. The referendum, you said we've got two years left. I thought we had just one year left on that. It's paid off in 23. Tw okay. 23 is the last <laughs> payment on the, on the bonds for the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it 22? 
Uh, 22, I, excuse me, you're right. 20, 22. 21, 22, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah three years included. <clears throat> So if there's anything other you had any questions about <coughs> or as you, if you wanted to look through this, anything that was in your mind, I've got, again, the, the IFS sheets you have there are highlighted. I have little stickies where I put my notes on it. When I ran the copies, you have little shaded ones in there. So those on each individual budget, you can see it. I don't, our uh, anticipated expense then for maintenance of this building, I know it's, that it impacted our, our <coughs> predictions. Did Wayne get any type of estimates yet on roofing, or are we still just kind of we're hanging in mid thumbnailing air. at this point? Yeah, we're, we're hanging in there yet. I haven't got anything new on that, so we'll just leave the 175 we put in there. Do you think that's going to be enough, or or for the roof? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do. If you go back and take a look at the 111 account, which is on page 41 and 42, <clears throat> under building improvements, we now have 260,000 into that, which should take care of our roof, should take care of our sidewalks, should take care of our tuck pointing and sealing this building up. Uh, Do you remember what the cost was last year for the tuck pointing of this building? I believe it was, I want to say around 60. Okay. Did that include <coughs> the steps then too? Yes. Yeah, it was the same company did the steps and the yeah. tuck pointing <coughs> and the... We should be safe. Yeah. So we did we did add to that that's why that is. and we had funds left over from last year because those steps didn't cost as much as we originally thought but we don't we don't carry that over into a into a building fund of any kind we no. zero out no just goes back into reserves if there's anything left over <coughs> some of that tuck cleaning on the steps or caulking I'll call it that goes in mm -hmm. the steps is with the cold weather is pulled away a little bit shrunk a little bit I yeah. don't know if that's anything to, it, it's still fastened on the steps but on the upper part of the riser where it goes it's actually kind of pulled away a little bit so, so it makes you wonder if it's sealed or not I don't know if we got I don't know something to keep an eye on I guess but mm -hmm. it's, there are it's a big improvement over what we had for, for sure at least they're sloping the right way now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grab my last spreadsheet. Here, my, I, have <coughs> I don't know what else you could do with it. I mean, it is a really good caulk that they've got on. Mm -hmm. I think it's <coughs> with the temperature extremes yeah. on that, the, the expansion yeah. contraction, and they must be pretty good sized gaps. As wide as well, the caulk is pretty wide. Right. right. And, uh, yeah. <coughs> <clears throat> the steps were nice to get done. That's been something that's been talked about for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What to do and how to do it and whatever. But Another area in the building that we're all aware of, of course, is that paint on the ceiling in the courtroom, and, and uh, we just can't find a contractor willing to take that job on. Have we, still, have we got money earmarked for that yet or not? Not really. Depends on what the roof cost is. Right. It's <clears throat> Would still be part of the 260 if yeah. we had it, or we could take it out of reserve too if we needed to, if we could get somebody to do it. Yeah. One of the problems there is always a time frame. Yeah. Has to be done when the judge is on vacation. And when it's going to take a week to set up your scaffolding, and you don't want to be tearing it down every other day. I think the big, one of the biggest problems there is are you going to paint over what's there or? Get that stripped, all stripped down. off first, mm -hmm. because otherwise, if that keeps falling off, it isn't going to help to paint over it because yeah. it'll keep coming down anyway. Strip so. it off and leave it off. You know, that, you know, if you could get that done, mm -hmm. then that will look pretty <coughs> nice. Really. It's I got a nice so. patina underneath it. It does. Now, is that the original metal, or is that metal put on with the remodel? Yeah, that's original, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. And was it painted <coughs> before the remodel? 
or was that, oh, it was all stripped off and redone during the remodel, that's what it was, you know. And I don't know if they just didn't uh, etch it correctly, that, that the paint didn't adhere to it. I wonder if it, that's the problem. Yep. Or was it that high humidity that we, we took care of? humidity problems as well, yep. I mean. Certainly was a factor. Combination. Yeah. It seemed to <coughs> last a long time until the humidity started, something happened up with the system up there, but that appears to be taken care of now. But it's still flaking off. Yeah, that part of it's <coughs> like the humidity has been taken care of, so it's not like a, a moist ice box up there. No, not anymore. <laughs> As a reminder, I uh, went back and pulled the last budget before we went to the preliminary. We had originally 140000 in the 6605 building improvement. We added another 120000 on top of that once we saw the roof. Had roof issues. So that brought us up to the 260 is where we're at. One place where we could get caught on that is a gutter system that runs around the roof. Mm. Uh, That's where we could get caught. I went back and found records on that, and the board spent money in 2012 to work on those gutters up there. Uh, there was a folder I found out in the Bill's office that had <coughs> the work that was done back in 12. Gutter sealing, gutter work, that type of thing. Um, do you remember that? Obviously, I wasn't sitting here, so. Was it was it a substantial sum, or was it just a little? No, it was substantial. It was. Yeah. <clears throat> sealing, what does that mean? Flex seal? <laughs> I don't think it was flex seal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go dig that out, and I'll share it with the building committee and find that. And basically, we have sidewalk work to do, too. I have a lot of busted up sidewalks around the bell and around the yeah. in front of the building, too, we need to take care of. Those are safety hazards. Those need to be taken care of. But the west side's pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. And it's just that in the west side, then the driveway back here should yeah, be. Yeah, we've got the driveway to do uh, next year. Things to get done this coming year. You might as well swallow the whole thing, get it all Is that done, be done and get concrete? things shaped up and yeah. get yeah. it done. And yeah. Half the lot, right? Yeah. And the driveway. The plan was half. Right. Then the other half will get done later down the road. But you can see Follow how the oh, perfect. Yeah. bids come in on the roof and see how the other projects go. If yeah. it's favorable when you get a really good bid. Well, that's the way to look at it, too. But, you know, depending on what the other things cost you. Right. So the longer it goes open like that, you know, they can bid it, but then there's going to be a clause in there for decking that needs to be replaced. And <clears throat> On page nine under travel management, you have a bigger amount in, I'm assuming saving up for a vehicle. Yes. But I mean, it's a bigger amount than in the past. Are we? <clears throat> They're getting more expensive. Oh, okay. It's not that we're doing it more often. No, no, it's still five years. Five to six years is what it, my plan is anyway, so. Would it have to be, we just have one, don't we? Two. We have a 17 and a 19. Okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> There's our four. In hearing some of the reports from some of the other counties uh, at our AMC meetings and so forth, I, I think, you know, if we're able to stay below 5%, that's, that's very good. Very pleased with that. <coughs> oh, a lot of counties weren't so lucky. Yep. We don't know that and as we know, some of those that have real low figures are are using reserves as well, too. They're not being realistic. We're bonding so it. They are bonding, yep, going into debt. <coughs> I feel really good about where we're at right now. Yeah. I think it's it's I, I think it I think it, it's testament to the good work that our that our employees have done over the years holding the line for us as well too. And, Obviously, the previous, previous boards, yeah. boards that came before us, they've done a good job. Of course, county program aid was was the one that really kind of Helps, kicked us. Uh, the, the previous seven, eight years, we really took a hit on that. So it's nice that that's being restored, not still to the level that we had. Was, but then we're getting about forty percent of what we got fifteen years ago. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I think the high was close to 1.3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if I hear Walls correct, did he say that there was, should be another increase in it again? He had said before that his intent is to restore <coughs> to what it was, 100% of what it right. was. He said that was his intent. <laughs> Got ways to go on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, be careful what you wish for. Usually Minnesota comes back as higher taxes anyway, so mm -hmm. it isn't, you know, you can ask, lobby for all these free gifts, but there aren't any free gifts. Take them out so. of the other pocket. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Do we want to change the investment earnings figure? <clears throat> what would you suggest? I think Steve had mentioned that what, 190. We could go to 190 on that. I talked to Tyler about that. If you wanted to reduce it, that would bring us down another uh, 10,000. That'd be about 4.7. <clears throat> couple tenths. Now, did he ever follow through with uh, looking back into some of these other banks and stuff to, uh, for investments to look into? Uh, I'm not sure exactly where he's looked at for investments at this time. So I know a lot of people were going to the Magic Fund. I think we already were there, but I think there was another one too. I heard that had a really good return on it. Besides Magic, what, didn't we talk about that earlier this year? Yeah, I, I recall that as well too. That at least compare the the, mm -hmm. the, the, the terms anyway with some other banks. Because I know, uh, like for CPT, um, the local bank stepped up and beat the Magic Fund. For, for their business, whatnot. So. That's why I was asking earlier what the rate was, because they noticed some of the more recent renewals were at a lesser rate than what the measure right. is. And I was wondering <coughs> why. I think we can sit down and have a discussion on that with Tyler. Yeah. The best way to go on that. <coughs> It really help this time of year too, when we're <coughs> anticipating these numbers. Yeah. Yeah. And and obviously the philosophy there is to try to keep our our funds local when we can. Yeah. We right. still have a duty to taxpayers to still be yeah. be as as prudent as we can with the funds. So, but it, it doesn't mean that we can't go out and shop and see what what the what the market is. Mm -hmm. Anybody have anything specific? If we do another 10,000 off of investments, that would bring our levy to 4,880,000, 412 instead of 890. That would put us at 4.78. And that was with a $10,000? $10,000 additional no. anticipated income on investments. Yep. Yeah, I, if, if Tyler's comfortable with that, and if, if you're comfortable. talked to him this morning on it. He's fine with that and said that's reasonable. Uh, he did say on the global scale, the only thing that he was had, hear, had heard that might change things is what Britain does with Brexit <coughs> and the yeah. world markets and things like that. <coughs> the, the Fed is actually looking at probably raising the rate again <coughs> in 20, but to what I don't know, he did mention that too. <coughs> so. I'll make that adjustment if you'd like, and yeah. we'll come in at 4.78 to the meeting on Tuesday. Do we need, do we need a what's that? Approve this change or just this just information for? It's just information today. No, we'll yeah, work just a work session yeah. on this, because because we approve all of it then at the next meeting when right. we approve the budget, so we don't need to go through line item by line item. No, that was. One. And that's why I wanted to do this today so we didn't have to spend right, time on it at the meeting on Tuesday because we've got a pretty full agenda, a lot of things <coughs> going on. So let's we have one more chance to take a look at anything that we had going on. As I said at the beginning, I really scheduled this because thinking we were going to be getting our 175 back. And that was, I was like really hopeful we could use that to bring it down. Are we going to get another check from them next year? Do we know? Well, or I can't say that. That'll be up to the CPT board how they're going to do that. Right. Yeah. I know the 
from the flavor of the commissioners there that yeah that's what's the they'd intention like well, everybody would like to get paid back eventually that's why i was surprised we only got fifty thousand because i'm and i've been scouring for the minutes and i cannot find them but uh so i don't know if they just wrote scratch the check for last year and then the rest is coming in 2020 i'm not sure so mm, it's nice to get something yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. there's no there's no reason right now with how they're sitting financially that we can't pay back all the counties yeah. so with how everything's budgeted so they've stuff. got reserves too that they probably want to hold on to for property well that's one of the things new counties coming in will pay the 175 where we've got our 50 back from our original buy-in of the original counties yeah, the, the <coughs> dividends until uh, every county's paid back so. they said they're so packed in that building there's probably a new building going to be bad that would be a discussion if we bring in more into the jpa that money would be earmarked for a new building then are they expecting so. to bring in more at this time no kind of want all the dust to settle with that board <coughs> so they the seem to be going better with the New management, yeah. Yeah, management yeah. Um, structure. I don't know if you got a chance to talk to them at AMC at all. Yeah. So, yeah, that was Gwen and Mike. Those are the two head people there. Okay. They do all the, pretty much everything right now. They tried to originally get a guy, a CEO above them to handle all that work, but that, that didn't work out. So they're just going to maintain that for now until, you know, they got a, a business manager now and she's the board clerk and whatnot, and she's going to help take that end of it. The, soliciting you know business and stuff like that and whatnot but no there's no uh there is a county is asking i know uh sibley is really they want numbers now on joining but we, at the same time we don't want to be pushed into restructuring the jp right now so right so they could probably still contract exactly and that, that's what they're looking at there's 16 counties that'll be up in 2020 for <coughs> contract so they're hoping to snag at least five if they're hoping but no, Sibley really wants in to buy in on the company. But it sounds like the other county is just looking for the service. Are they getting additional contracts from out of state as well? Uh, North Dakota, they have seven right now in North Dakota, and they're looking to pick up three to five more in this next year. Yeah. Pure contracts, no Right, right. Because they had been clients of the previous owner of them. Mm -hmm. Right. And they've been happy. I know they're, uh, this tax <coughs> re rewrite, uh, it's you know coming to the wire with them but they had a lot of turmoil and some staffing changes but they had uh three programs that they were demoing up at the assessors conference a couple weeks ago <coughs> they're still <coughs> saving the updates for you know for the rollover so so now that we got a wage uh study done and adopted uh, wage scale um really hoping that that's going to attract uh, some more people there's two they already got two uh, students right out of uh, U of M Morris there that where they haven't in almost a decade previously so right. now they're attracting people there just by you know there's yeah. a lot more excitement after they got bought out by the counties so I also understand that <clears throat> the employees that were there when it was still privately owned didn't have health insurance when it was privately owned so that has been a huge plus for them now to be covered under health insurance as well too they were paid a lump sum right towards towards health insurance and then they could then figure they're it responsible out. for whatever they well, wanted they have a, a policy a specific policy. policy he didn't have a lot of policies in place so that's right. been a lot of the work over this last 18 months is mm -hmm. trying to iron that out because like for contracts you're gonna pay this one but you'll pay this and you'll pay that and <laughs> there was you know so that had to get e evened out right away it has to be fair and the same right. so so there's work to be done yet but we're hoping that that was going to be like a quarterly board meeting for that, but it's it's been monthly. What is it kind of based on like the, your population then? Or? Um, uh, services. Services. Yeah. How many different programs? There's a base, and then you start <coughs> adding. So it, so population is not much of a factor then, because no. the process is going to be the same almost. It just entries after you take your program it's just entry but they also do uh, site hosting too for our county's information too so there's a lot of contracts that they do with oh like cloud storage or yeah like uh we well th well we w ours <coughs> is it clouded with lion is that steve no nobles, nobles? I, thought, I thought nobles was our off-site yeah backup place or for backup yeah, yeah. But maybe not, now with being part of CPT, maybe that's something we could look at down the road too. So, but uh, yeah, they have plenty of room to add more um, 
more space, more counties to host too, and that's another revenue stream that they get too, is hosting the data, so. <coughs> Must have a big facility for that, huh? No. Mm, it doesn't uh, take that much. I think it's that big a facility, yeah. But they just <laughs> manage racks, it really well. Racks of servers, yeah. You know. They just manage it well. They um, that's not even on site. That's through uh, that uh, Morris Electronics, is it? Oh, yeah. They, yeah, it's on site. <coughs> yep. What's the situation with our coroner? Um, does whoever happens to be on duty, if there's a call, call for a coroner, just to take that responsibility? That's the way I understand it. Christensen, Christensen is the coroner. Yeah. He's but he deputizes the other physicians, I believe. So he, they're, they're deputy yeah, coroners. He calls them associates instead Our of associates. deputies. But, yeah. but all the other doctors are associate coroners, so if he's not available, they have a, but he's a, a list, to my understanding, who's going to be on coroner call for so the. So was Christensen elected? Yes. And if he resigns as he retires, mm -hmm. then we'll appoint. We'll have to appoint someone, correct? That's coming up. Yeah. You know, but uh, for the rest of this year, his term for twenty, you know, whatever his term remains, I don't know if he was just elected. He was. Right here, I think he yeah, was. he was just elected. <coughs> you the last term before. came up, right? So he'd be through twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. But he wouldn't. He, he, no, he'll vacate he that. He'll vacate that. He'll remain the corner. I wouldn't think if he isn't working anymore. No. Right. Well, I wouldn't think he would want to do that. Yeah. So he'll vacate that elected position. So we'll have to appoint. So that might be time too. We might want to have the discussion about should we change that also to an appointed position and no longer have it elected as we go forward. It's just kind of a. Formality. Yeah. Either way, I don't think most of the states. That is a very common appointment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the counties in the state have appointment for Yeah. So. But I assume it would follow that same process that as long as there's an elected position, a person in that position, that that's for that term. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't have done anything with it till the end of his term anyway. So now might be the time for us to consider so changing that. Term, right? yeah, there's, there's wording in the statute on that for coroners. I believe it's six months ahead of time, if I remember mm -hmm. right. I'll, con con I'll confirm. but. Yeah. I don't remember the date, but I think he's got about 90 days, doesn't he? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think March 27th or something. Another area that I'd like to... Totally unexpected. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, another topic just to discuss, too, and, and that's, again, uh, having monies have a fund specific set aside for a tax or for property. Now, right now, I don't know if we have any real big hanging issue because the theater no longer is one of ours at this at this time. Do we know of any other properties out there that might have a negative value that might be coming in on tax forfeitures? Tyler would be the one to answer that. Yeah, Tyler would. I don't. Yeah. I don't have that information. Jasper's pretty well cleaned up right now, aren't they? With that. The Dunga. We're set for a few years. Yeah. Edgerton had a couple that I thought were getting close to. Building with new businesses, so. okay. And a lot of those, just because it's got a, a building that needs to be taken down, if the property, the pr it still might have a positive value, even oh, with yeah. the cost of, of, of a building, as long as that mm -hmm. demolition doesn't get outrageously expensive. Yeah, I don't know of any commercial, other commercial properties now coming up. Because in the past, I believe that Tyler's just taken monies out of the general fund for various things on those property, whether it be yeah. plywooding up a window or a door or putting locks or whatever. That's, it's just been a general fund expenditure. It hasn't had its own specific account. So. Does anyone know <coughs> that old creamery how by where we used to have the roll-offs? Because that's been looking like it's going to fall over anytime. Who does own that? Creamery. Or whatever it is. From, from where the paper yeah, trucks are yeah. truck to the north there. Yeah. Uh, that's owned then by Bob Hubner. Okay. Yep. That's been looking pretty rough now, I've noticed. Yeah. And, and the city has been working with him with, with that right. property as far as the outside of it. I don't know if the structure itself, if there's any question about the integrity of the structure, but. That old dry cleaner building east of the newspaper oh, yeah. is mm -hmm. a disaster, too. And I, I, I think the taxes are being. Yes, I've been so told that. We have some input on that, but they might have some issues there to clean up. I don't know. But and I also believe that the city did pay for some soil sampling done there because of the concerns of the dry cleaning. Well, it's not our problem at this point, but it's, no. uh, it's a problem for somebody. Yeah, I, I think this um, sampling didn't go well either. Did 
I don't think they were surprised. Right. Yeah. yeah. I do know that Bolton and Mink was the engineering firm working with the city on the old dry cleaner as okay. well. Okay. Good. <clears throat> do you know anything about that, Kyle? There's some pollution no. issues there. <clears throat> Don't be playing in the ground outside work. Uh. Is there any other budget items anyone wants to discuss or go over? Or? I'm, I'm satisfied with the budget as, as Steve and 4.78 is yeah. the lowest we've been in a long time. I don't think I've ever had it that low as, since I've been on the board. I thought we had a three point something a couple years ago. <clears throat> we might need to add a little bit more for office supplies, seeing that roll of, of calculator paper that Steve used. <laughs> <and he put laughs> it's it still on. cheap. You, you worked hard on this, Steve, yeah. and I appreciate it. I can still use the other side of it if I have to. <laughs> Flip around, right? Re roll it, re -roll it <laughs> and do the other end side of it. <laughs> yeah, 4.78. Well, we should remember we did get a 10% increase in our program aid, which it's, yeah. that's almost, for us, almost a percent. Yes. So, you know, that was you know, about $55,000 we got an increase, and we should see another increase next year. Yep. Unless something else changes, so cross should, your fingers. Should, should. I didn't say will. Should. So as we're starting to see the program aid creep up, that's definitely helping us because the we do use that program aid as a direct levy reduction to our taxpayers. It helps offset the inflation factor. <laughs> yeah, we get a little of that. And number two, we had salaries. This was our our big year. We had a three percent salary increase due to contracts this year which spread across the whole organization which much rather have that happen than have somebody down <laughs> here and others up here and all over if you do that yeah. you're treating everyone the same and so we'll be going into negotiations for in, in 20 we're fine but for 21 so by next fall we'll start to be working on the negotiations for all four unions for 21 in future years have you heard anything? Are they looking at two or another three year? I've heard nothing. It's it's pretty early. Yeah, I know it is, but kind of like that three year contract in a way you're not sitting at the table. I would rather see a multi year. I think it's a lot easier to work with the departments and to budget and plan for those things instead of annually where you're going in and you know everybody knows where they are. I think you know two to three years is pretty <coughs> common. Other administrators I've talked to, most of those counties are doing similar things too and trying to do multi-years and some of them have a lot more unions than we do like, yeah, heard like nine yeah. different locals yeah. and things like that so but since we've just got the four you know. and and the one department of course that our labor costs and we saw it in the law enforcement budget the law enforcement budget did did have a substantial increase however look at the value that we're getting for that they're that's doing right job for that's us right. And, yes and, and they need their support and I'm very appreciative of what they're doing for us yeah We've got <coughs> our fully staffed now, so it's good to hope we keep it that way. And Keith keeps telling me it's harder and harder to find, you know, when you have replacements, it's harder to find people to apply for the jobs. Those numbers are not out there anymore. I think, uh, I'm sure of it. You know, just, just in the normal labor force, it's hard to find people in something that specializes law enforcement. Right. It's got to be difficult. Okay. I'm well. good. Okay, I'd make a motion to adjourn then. Okay, okay. I'll second it. Bruce? Motion, second to adjourn. Um, any further <coughs> discussion? Not all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Let me get that. Let me get it shut, shut off. It had what, several years ago? It was. Yeah, yeah. yeah.